I'm back how Europe underdeveloped Africa. I took a break. Um, no one warned me that reading books about pre-colonial, during colonial and post-colonial Africa would be so heavy. It was actually affecting my mental health, um, seriously. So if you're going to read this book or any book about um, Africa during colonization, just be ready. It's quite heavy. It's quite heavy. So I'm back anyway. Um, and I'm here to just clear up some stuff because a lot of I've had lots of questions. And I'm not a historian. I'm just reading and learning. I'm new to all of this and passing it on. Okay. First thing I want to clear up. Africa had a history before being colonised. I was one of those people that, just because of the way I was taught in school, um, every time it was Black History Month, we got taught about Rosa Parks, um, emancipation. So in my head, from being a child, I thought, you know, Africa got discovered through colonisation and slavery, but Africa has a richer history than anybody before slavery. That's point number one. Point number two, Europe had been trying to colonise Africa for over 200 years. Over 200 years. I think it's 300 years. And Africa was just too strong. We had empires. We had you know, very strong technology. We, we had everything above them. And what happened was they befriended us for 300 years, got the inside scoop, basically, and destroyed us internally in order to colonise. And it took 300 years. And one thing that Europeans are good at is taking notes and passing it on to their later generations. And that's what happened. And eventually they knew enough about us from the inside um, to destroy us and then separate us. How they did that was creating, you know, political divides. Africa, before colonisation, um, had a few different ways of um, social structures. I've got a few notes here. I'm going to read them out to you. Communal land ownership. So that means... Land was owned by the community and not individuals. People could use the land, but they didn't own it permanently. They also had strong community support, which meant they all helped each other to harvest land. And sharing resources. Resources were often shared and this led to mutual support. Another thing is that um, capitalism didn't really exist because of how nobody actually owned their own land and the community owned the land. And so capitalism was brought to Africa, which, causes, which caused divide in different parts of Africa. And that is how Africa got destroyed internally by Europe and was able to they were able to break us down. I'm stuttering a lot. I'm nervous talking about this. Just excuse me. But the third point is, yes, there were African communities and empires who sold Africans to Europeans, but these Africans that were being sold were prisoners, um, people that had committed crimes, and also, you know, people that were captured during war. War is bound to happen within countries. However, any money that was made from Africans that were sold by certain empires was invested back into their own community. And that's why, you know, the Benin Empire, the homie, were so formidable because they were putting the money back into the people. Now, people always come with the argument that, oh, you know, you enslaved your own people and you sold your own people. Well, when Europeans eventually were able to take over 
Africa and enslaved Africans, they stole the money. They stole the Africans. They made the Africans build Europe. We imprisoned prisoners, criminals, made them, you know, harvest land, made them work. And that's why we had so much because we had resources. The moment we started losing was when you took everyone and we had no one to harvest our land. And what would happen during slavery was Europeans would take the youngest, the strongest, the most able-bodied. And therefore, what would happen later on is that in Africa, we would have no one to actually harvest all the resources that we actually have. And these resources come to nothing. While all these Africans are in Europe, building up Europe and making Europe far more advanced than Africa. Um, that's it for now. I'm not a historian. I'm actually learning this now. And if you have read more and you know more, please correct in the comments. I'm just sharing what I'm reading.